Hey, it's Rick. In this one, I have a question here from Renny Scott. He's writing in asking, I heard that you can do freelance consulting. What is that? All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Now, before I jump into the question here, I actually get this question a lot. I get this question from some of my readers writing in. I get this question from some of my clients. I get this question from people that I meet. You know, it's that one question that everybody asks you. So what exactly do you do? And it's kind of difficult to explain what I do because it's it's not something that you typically run into. There isn't like a quote unquote title that you can go ahead and give yourself. Now, my business cards typically say software developer. That just makes it a little bit easier for HR when they actually go ahead and pay me to be able to define what exactly I'm doing for their organization. But majority of the time, what I'm actually doing is I'm doing software consulting. Now, I don't know if you heard what software consulting is, and sometimes people get it confused with freelancing. People get it confused with remote workers, and there is a lot of confusion there what uh, you know the difference between freelancing and consulting is. So I'm gonna go ahead and just give you an example here. So I am at here, here I am on my portfolio site and in my portfolio I just pretty much state, you know, uh, my organization creates software that delivers real business results. And that is 100% what we believe in, that's 100% what my team does, that is essentially what we instill into the belief of our customers is that we create software that delivers real business results. We're not here to create your website. We're not here to do HTML and CSS. We're not here to write your PHP backend. We're here to create software that delivers real business results. Because typically what I what I do is I usually go in and talk to the business owner. I talk to the CEO. I talk to the CTO. I talk to the CFO. Or I talk to one of these level C-level executives where they have a dire do problem that they need solved. And their problem is has to do with software. So I typically come in there, sometimes I do provide a solution for them to be able to move forward with that solution and hire my entire team to go ahead and implement that solution. Other times it is just giving them a report about what the possible solutions are and what teams are actually going to need in order for them to be able to hire to make this um, problem be resolved. So sometimes it's just a report that I hand out, sometimes it is training that I do, sometimes it is actual code that we ship. So it varies independently from project to project. But I can actually show you some of the projects that I completed in the past. So this Tree Tree Interactive one was an application that I did here for the Natural History Museum of Utah. And it was including an exhibit for the Genome Unlocking Life's Code. And this is an actual display that was on a 42-inch touchscreen that included a backend. And it pulled in over 10,000 photos. And it did all this organization with genomes and your genetics. And it was, it was a really fun project. But that one, that was, that was an actual software project that we undertook, uh, created, deployed, and shipped. So another one here, um, this is actually JS Academy. I don't know if you've been to JS Academy, but it's pretty much a screencasting site that includes everything from um, payments to membership sites to uploading files to streaming videos to downloading videos to there's a client application, there's a web application, there is a bunch of different things. So that was a really long project. It was about eight months of work, but we got that ship that is out there in the wild. You can go ahead and test it out. Now, here's a mobile app, the Hacker's Handbook. This one got over 58,000 downloads on the Android App Store. So that was another fun one there. Here's another one that I did, and then another one that I did for a client, and here's another one I did for another client. So these are the actual projects, but most of the time, my work includes a lot of writing reports, a lot of documentation, a lot of communicating what's possible. So again, these are actual projects, but a lot of the times the projects that I do, it's just a paper that I send it. It's just a 20 page report that I'm sending about, you know, different possibilities of migrating from one database to another. So that's why it's a little bit different, you know, as far as what I do compared to anybody else out there. I'm not just here to, you know, write some code. I do a little bit more than just writing code. I try to understand a lot of the back end to the business of how the money's actually flowing in from one place to another how much money is allocated for a project, how long that project is going to take, how many man hours are actually going to be involved. So I do a little bit of project management, but in reality, it all comes down to creating software that is delivering real business results. So before I go here, I want to go ahead and give you an actual example of one of these uh, scenarios. So here I am at geomancer.us. Now geomancer.us is, is a startup here in Salt Lake City, and they actually went ahead and reached out to us because they have a piece of software that evaluates how much a piece of land is. So you can see right here, there is this little uh, tiles here that you can see uh, how much a piece of land is worth. 
and you know this is important if you want to go ahead and, and you know start digging or start creating a building or whatever it might be you can go ahead and actually see how much a piece of land is going to be worth now 10 years from now or you know you can actually see the market value the difference between um, what they can offer you and then the price of per square feet i mean this project is pretty involved and some of the math they're actually using behind it is it's pretty complex. I, the guy that I was talking to, he actually showed me a little bit of the geometry that's behind to actually qualify and quantify how much a piece of land is. And there's a lot of metrics that go into involved with this. And then I can actually show you here. They're actually working with uh, Domo to get a lot of the data to be able to aggregate these prices. And they're actually working with Domo. They're working with Google. They're working with um, the local cities to be able to acquire a large amount of their data to be able to create these prices. So you can learn more about the product here. But here, they were trying to go ahead and hire me to come in there and um, implement some new features, extend their software to do more things, be able to uh, close some bugs. And um, after we talked for a while, after we had a couple meetings, you know, they decided that the, the path they were going to go down to was either hire an independent software development shop like mine, an uh, Indian organization, or, or go on full on and get a uh, full-time developer. And they, they went ahead and asked me that question. They asked me, you know, what path should we take? Which one should we follow? Should we hire you? Should we hire an Indian organization? Or should we hire a full-time developer? And what I did is I went ahead and created a report and told them, um, you know, the benefits of hiring me, the downsides of hiring me, the benefits of hiring in India, the downsides of hiring India, the benefits of hiring a full-time developer, and the downsides of hiring a full-time developer. And I went ahead and you know, based on the information that I collected and created this report for them, sent that off to them and they went ahead and went with the decision. And the decision ultimately didn't come down to hiring my organization. They went ahead and went with the full-time developer and they're actually currently still looking for a full-time developer. So if you're looking for a job, definitely ping me. I'm more than happy to get you in contact with them and see if you can get and actually work with them. But do you see how I'm not writing any code? I'm just simply trying to understand what their problem is and how I can help them solve it. And that's, that's essentially why uh, I'm much different than if you were just to uh, go ahead and just hire me as a freelancer because I'm not just here to write code. I'm here to get in touch with the business. I'm here to figure out how I can better help the business. I'm here to help you take the next step to where you need to go. So that's essentially why I'm a software consultant and I'm not just a uh, you know, freelancer that's just there to write some HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. All right, so hopefully this goes ahead and answer your question here, Renny. If you have a question for me, hit me up at codewithintent.com forward slash question. I would love to be of service to you. 